Hi guys and welcome to S Queens. So today we'll be tackling the washing machine. It's not very dirty but I thought I would once again keep on top of it so we're not waiting until it's filthy. So I'm just going to disinfect it today, give it a quick wipe down and till the next time we'll we'll see how, how well it holds up. It doesn't tend to get too dirty. I tend to just focus on disinfecting it and just giving it a clean inside and having a a load less wash kind of thing where I just let it run without anything inside. So I've pulled out the tray I'm just giving it a quick wipe down. Um, as you can tell there wasn't really much dirt on there but um, I just thought I'd just wipe it down, get rid of anything that might be stuck that I might have not seen. So as you can tell there's not a lot of dirt there at all. didn't take too long to get this all cleaned up and afterwards I was able to just plonk it back in very easy um, and then clean the rest of the washing machine. I then got out the vinegar spray just because I just wanted to make sure that it was disinfected and well cleaned so I sprayed some of it on the outside and just gave it a quick wipe it was very much for inside but I just thought I'd use it for outside it wasn't gonna hurt um, and like I said it wasn't very mucky at all just because um, I haven't had the washing machine itself for long I purchased it and within probably four months of purchasing it I moved in with my mother just so I could save up for a place so it was very much not used when it went into storage and then when it came out of storage I gave it a good clean, good disinfect, had a few cycles without anything inside just to kind of wash it. Uh, so it's very much still new um, even though I've most likely had it now for over a year and a half. I was turning it back on to off there just because I had wiped a bit too vigorously and turned it on and so here I'm focusing on the inside just spraying the window I'm just giving it a good wipe down it had some stains of like the washing up powder but except for that it wasn't too bad and it was easy to come clean and then I'm just going to focus on the rim here and just give it a clean inside just because that's where dirt is most likely to build up when, with a washing machine So I took it from the side of the sink and plonked it back in um, after it just kind of drained from the water a little bit and then I just gave it another just wipe down to dry it off. So I sprayed the vinegar inside a bit generously in here just so I could get um, it clean and obviously I have done a few washes and I like to do this every so often after a few washes just to disinfect it, give it a good clean. And so as you can tell my washing up powder is finishing I tried to scrape it but nothing was coming up so I had to kind of get in there and scrape it off in order to get a decent amount on the scooper I just put kind of half of a scooper and I was gonna put it in there but I thought I've just cleaned it why should I put it in there so I just thought now I changed my mind midway and I thought I'll just put it straight into the drum and then at least it saves me having to kind of clean it out again uh, for any reason <laughs> as you can tell that really does need refilling <laughs> so i closed it and i ran a cycle on that it was only a 15 minute cycle that i think i ended up was it 15 minutes 14 minutes cycle and i just made sure that it the spin was i think on 800 and it came out fresh when I opened the door. It was very nice and clean. So I tend to do this, like I say, every so often. I don't really have like a time frame, but I tend to kind of get a feeling of like, oh, I need to clean 
the washing machine. So as you can tell, the water's running through there and running through there again and all looks good. So that was pretty much the clean for the washing machine and the cycle ran very smoothly and it was very quick. So I didn't have to kind of feel like it was doing a full cycle, but it still came up very clean with that 14 minutes. So I ended up putting everything back and like to end the video with a drop of the pink towel.